What's going on guys, it's Simo. So today I'm bringing to you an Endymion combo tutorial. Now recently I brought to you an introduction to Endymion, giving you guys a brief overview on how each of the cards work and some basic interactions between each of the cards. But today I wanted to demonstrate this on a much larger scale and showcase to you guys some of the synergies that this combo deck is capable of. Now, before we get into it, I do wanna let you guys know that on October 12th, we do have Pro Play Tour Columbus coming up, $2,000 prize pool up for grabs, only 20 bucks to enter. If you get your invite by getting into Top Cut, you're entered into the $10,000 Invitational in January, and I'll of course be there doing live commentary coverage for the event. So links are in the description if you want to pre-register, and I hope to see you guys there. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, as I've mentioned before, Endymion is a combo deck, and what's crazy is that just by adding a single card to the equation, it changes everything dramatically in terms of how you execute a combo to play around certain disruptions your opponent may have. So while I'm only going to be showcasing a couple three-card combos for the purposes of this video, I'd highly recommend testing with five card hands just to see the full power that this deck is capable of. So let's go ahead and get into the first combo here. We're going to be starting with Servant of Endymion, Spell Power Mastery, and a copy of Dragon Shrine. So we're going to move these down here. We're going to start by scaling our Servant, and we're going to activate a copy of Spell Power Mastery. This allows us to add any Endymion card to our hand. So we're actually going to go ahead and grab Magister here. Now, when this resolves, we're going to add not one, but two spell counters on our servant because of spell power mastery's effect. And now we can go ahead and use a copy of Dragon Shrine to send a copy of Supreme King Darkworm to the graveyard. And now since that resolved, we can tick servant up to three. So we're already at three counters for servant to go ahead and special summon herself. But we're not going to do that just yet because first we want to go ahead and special summon our Darkworm, which will trigger its ability to add a copy of Supreme King Gate Zero to our hand. Now from here, we can go ahead and use our Servant. We're gonna special summon itself, as well as a monster that can take a spell counter, which in this case is going to be Jackal King, and both it and the Jackal King are going to get a single counter. Now we can go ahead and start doing some link play. So we're gonna go ahead and link off the Servant, as well as the Dark Worm here, and this is gonna get us into our copy of Electromite. Now we're gonna go ahead and use the effect of our Electromite on summon, send any Pendulum to our extra deck, which is gonna be Chronograph Sorcerer in this instance. And now from here, we're actually gonna go ahead and scale both of the cards we have in hand. So we're going to scale our Gate Zero, and we're going to scale our Magister of Endymion. This is going to put not only two, but four spell counters on our Jackal King, putting it up to five. And now we're going to use the effect of, actually no, before we do that, we're actually going to Pendulum Summon. So we're going to go ahead and Pendulum Summon out the Chronograph Sorcerer as well as the Dark Worm. Uh, in this case, we can't Summon Servant because it was already Special Summoned once this turn. And now we've completed our Pendulum Summon. But we, that's all we need because now we're pretty much set up for our full combo here. So what we can do is now is that we can go ahead and actually use the effect of our Electromite, pop our Magister of Endymion. We're going to add Magister actually back to our hand in this case, and we would draw a card. So I'll just go ahead and put this here for example's sake. And again, we can just do our full combo at this point. So we can go ahead and link off our Dark Worm for a copy of Guard Dragon LP and link off the Electromite plus whatever we else we summoned off of our Pendulum Summon to go ahead and summon a copy of Triple Burst Dragon. Now that we have two arrows pointing, LP's effect is gonna activate. We're gonna summon Destrudo directly from our deck and we're gonna link the Triple Burst as well as the Destrudo off for a copy of Guard Dragon Agrapain. We still have our two arrows here so we can go ahead and use Agrapain's effect. Special summon Summon our Odd Ice Vortex Dragon from our extra deck. And now we're going to link off the LP and the Agrapane for a copy of Hieratic Seal of the Heavenly Spheres. The reason why we do this is because now we broke the Guard Dragon Lock. We're no longer restricted into only summoning dragons. Now we can use our normal summon for the turn to summon the Magister of Endymion that we added back off the Electromite. And since we have Destrudo in our graveyard, we can go ahead and pay half our life points, special summon that out to our field. We can go ahead and put that on the bottom of our deck. We're going to put this back in the, or excuse me, the extra deck, and we get to summon a copy of F.A. On Dragster, and that's gonna do it for our end board here. I mean, we have four disruptions in the form of a monster negate from Jackal King, a Omni negate essentially in the form of Vortex Dragon, Dawn Dragster can negate a spell or trap, and Hieratic Seal can bounce any card, which then turns into another disruption because then we get to summon our Aether, the Empowering Dragon, to banish something as well. And that's a pretty strong turn one board considering we only used three cards. This is also protected from Nibiru because we had our Jackal King on the field with counters before we went ahead and did our pendulum summon so we can't get Nibiru. This also protects us from other hand traps as well. So just with three cards, we managed to do so much with this board. And even so on your next turn, 
let's say you did something like use your uh, use your Hieratic Sphere to bounce something, and then you summon out your Aether to go ahead and banish a card. Then you could go ahead and like link off anything using the Aether as well if you want to. You can summon something like let's say I don't know Beat Cop. You can summon Beat Cop like here if you want to use like the Dragster and link that off. And now you can Pendulum Summon again if you can complete your scales. Like there's just so much potential just from a simple three card combo. Now I know what you might be thinking. You're thinking Simo. That was such a high roll combo with three cards because you had the Servant, you had the Spell Power Mastery, and you had the Dragon Shrine. Well, I'm going to go ahead and showcase you another three card combo that ends on the same board, but actually is a lot more realistic because the numbers allow it to be so. So this combo is actually going to use Servant of Endymion, which is a six of because you place three Servant and three Spell Power Mastery. Uh, it's going to have a Dark Worm again, but this time it's going to use the normal summon for the Dark Worm. So if you have Dragon Shrine or Foolish Burial, it's better, but we're going to showcase that you can just have the normal summon of Dark Worm, which is a six of in this deck. So that way the numbers play out a little bit better. And then this can be any monster that can be played as a scale that can special summon out as a monster. So Curtain Razor, uh, Chronograph Sorcerer works here too. Uh, so it can be anything. So basically these are all six ofs in your 40 card deck, at least for the purposes of my build. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. So for this, we're going to go ahead and scale our copy of Servant. And we're going to start with our copy of Curtain Razor here, which is going to put a uh, counter on our Servant, special summon out the Curtain Razor. We're gonna go ahead and normal summon our copy of Dark Worm. It's gonna trigger its ability to add our gate zero to our hand. From here, we can go ahead and do our link summon. So we're gonna go ahead and make our Electromite. It's gonna trigger Electromite's ability. We're gonna go ahead and send our Chronograph Sorcerer to our extra deck once again. Now here we're going to scale our gate zero. This is going to put a second counter on Servant, and we're going to use Electromite's effect to pop the gate zero, and we're going to add the Chronograph Sorcerer to our hand. That is going to go ahead and also draw us a card because of Electromite's effect. Now from here we're going to go ahead and scale our Chronograph Sorcerer. This puts a third counter on Servant, and that's going to enable Servant to go ahead and trigger off. But before we do that, we're actually going to go ahead and Pendulum Summon. So here we're going to go ahead and Pendulum Summon out our Dark Worm, as well well as our gate zero. It doesn't really matter what the other one is here in this instance, but I think Dark Worm is obviously correct because it's for our guard dragon combo. Now we can go ahead and use Servant's effect, remove the three counters, special summon it, as well as any monster that can take a spell counter. So in this case, we're gonna go ahead with Jackal King and we're gonna give both of these monsters spell counters. Now do keep in mind, this is a little bit more susceptible to Nibiru than our first combo because we were able to do this before we Pendulum Summon, so that made it a lot stronger. But if they don't Nibiru you in this particular instance, now from here on out, they're pretty much not going to be able to. So that is a lot more, uh, that's a lot stronger in the long run. So now at this point, we're pretty much off to the races. So we can go ahead and just start doing our guard dragon combo. So we're going to link off our dark worm to go ahead and summon our LP. And now we're going to use Electromite and whatever else we summon for our pendulum summon to go ahead and make a copy of triple burst. We're going to use LP's effect to summon Destrudo directly from the deck. And now we're going to use triple burst and uh, Destrudo as leak material to summon our Agrapane. We have our arrows pointing so Agrapane can trigger. We're going to go ahead and summon Vortex Dragon directly from the deck. And now we can go ahead and use LP and Agrapane to link off into our Hieratic Seal, breaking out of the Guard Dragon lock. So now we can summon cards that are not uh, dragons. Now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and pop the Chronograph Sorcerer. And this is going to summon Time Gazer Magician directly from the deck. And now I'm going to use Destrudo to resurrect itself, targeting the Time Gazer, making it a level four. We're going to put Destrudo back in the bottom of the deck, put Time Gazer in our extra, uh, excuse me, in our extra deck. And that's going to summon out our FA Dawn Dragster. So this is essentially the same end board. It's a little bit different, but we still have the two spell counters on Jackal King. So that way that we have the ability to negate a monster effect. Granted, one of them is on Servant, but if Servant dies, it will go to the scale and retain its counters. Also, we can use Servant's on field effect to put more spell counters on Jackal King if we so wish, just by discarding a single card. Do keep in mind it does have that monster effect. So we have the ability to negate a monster effect. Ogdai's Vortex Dragon can negate literally pretty much anything. F.A. Dawn Dragster negates a spell trap then you have hieratic seal that can bounce a card and then you contribute it off summon something like aether which i happen to uh lose here i do not know where my aether went i literally just had it here i don't know where it went 
<laughs> oh, that's not good. Oh, here it is. So you can summon out Aether. Uh, Aether can then banish a card that you summon, and then you can pretty much just go off from there. Now, obviously, you're not going to have your scale set up for next turn, but if you have, remember, you have two other cards in hand. You drew a card off of Electromite, and you're going to draw a card for turn. So if your opponent somehow manages to play through all this, you're going to have some fairly good setup for the next turn. You've already got plenty of monsters in your extra deck to Pendulum Summon back out. This is the power of the Endymion deck, and that's why I wanted to showcase that for you guys today. So, guys, that's going to go ahead and do it for the video. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. I'd really love to hear your thoughts. And like I said before, I just wanted to showcase some simple combos for you guys, just so you guys know what the deck is capable of doing. But be sure to test this with four or five card hands for sure, because the boards you can make with four or five cards are much more explosive than what I showcased. It's definitely something you should try out. So guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Be sure to like the video as always. Subscribe to the channel for more amazing Yu-Gi-Oh! content. And if you found this video helpful, consider supporting me on Patreon or becoming a YouTube channel member. Because just by showing your support in any way that you can, you're investing in my ability to continue bringing you amazing Yu-Gi-Oh! content. So thanks so much again, and we'll see you next time.